This talk is a form of retrieval, a lesbian rereading of popular culture to construct a lesbian taxonomy of dress styles. Until the 80s, fashion was one of the most important signifiers of lesbian sexuality and consisted of clear definitions of identities such as femme and butch. Dress codes of butch women were, for example, signalled a range of sexual possibilities, including the willingness to take erotic responsibility to potential partners. Being butch was not simply about wearing masculine clothes, it was also about appearance and attitude. Lesbians increasingly used appearance and style as a visual means of communicating their sexual identity to each other and to the wider community. In terms of style, the new romantics often dressed in countersexual or androgynous clothing and wore cosmetics such as eyeliner and lipstick. Lesbians translated this look into a street style with belted, high-waisted, stonewashed jeans, white t-shirts with rolled up sleeves and black Doc Martin boots suggesting a tough, bad girl image. Androgyny had been fashionable many times in the history of women's fashion, but it was not until the 80s that lesbian women embraced androgynous style as a political force. The look with masculine signifiers was influenced by mainstream fashion and celebrated the triangular wedge with its broad shoulders and narrow waistline, enhanced by various sized shoulder pads. Celebrities such as Grace Jones, the quintessential fashion icon, embodied this androgynous aesthetic. Now, with its appeal to disenfranchised youth, hip hop also found expression amongst androgynous lesbians with the adaptation of the high top fade. Music celebrities such as Madonna constantly reinvented herself with codes and signifiers of lesbian style and identity in her performance. Madonna's sexual assertiveness appealed to a generation of lesbians, but it was not until the 1990s with the release of the single Justify My Love that lesbians began to see Madonna as glamorously seductive. In the stage performance of the song as part of the girly show, Madonna appeared dressed as a Victorian dandy, complete with attention to details such as opera top hat, gloves, lace cuff shirt, monocle, a silk cape, cravat and waistcoat. In 1990, K.D. Lang appeared in the Gap ongoing advertisement campaign Individuals of Style, photographed by her Brits, wearing Gap stonewashed denim jeans and jacket and cowboy boots, looking dreamily out into the distance. Lang's image spoke to a generation of lesbians about popular fashion and style. Lang's 1993 appearance with supermodel Cindy Crawford on the cover of the August issue of Vanity Fair magazine, also photographed by her Brits, is another example of Lang camping on her butchness. Dressed in a three-piece pinstripe suit, tie and brogues, Lang sits on a traditional barber's chair whilst being shaved by supermodel and straight Cindy Crawford, who is dressed in a melo. The Vanity Fair cover spread was a result of a growing trend in popular culture. Lesbianism had now become fashionable. In April 1997, in what is considered to be a historic moment in television and queer history, comedian Ellen DeGeneres and her character Ellen Morgan came out as a lesbian to a public audience. Ellen had become a style icon with a cult following amongst lesbians. Dressed in classic tailoring with a laid back preppy style Oxford brogues or tennis shoes, Ellen was the embodiment of what has become known as tomboy chic, a look that combined masculine style garments such as the blazer and tie with feminine accessories to make that androgynous stuff look a little bit girlier. Now the success of the appeal of the L word, which ran for six seasons till 2009, rests in its portrayal of the confident, upwardly mobile and material success embodied by lesbians and their relationship to fashion discourse. The discourse of lesbian chic, a constructed phenomena of the 1990s media representation and a fashion advertising marketing trend, placed lesbian identity onto the mainstream cultural landscape and produced a particular lesbian representation while erasing others. Some critics argue that the emergence of the lipstick lesbian has normalised 
heterosexualized or even straightened out lesbian sexuality in order to become more palatable to a straight audience. Born out of the lesbian wars of the 80s, the 21st century mediated lesbian is sexually desiring, autonomous and self-pleasing who chooses to perform in the spirit of playfulness.